and welcome to GeoGuess, sir. We have Strange Landers here with Azareth. Hello. Pasta. Greetings. Tokus. Rejoice. And I am Vixer. How's everybody doing today? Sweetie. Lendy do be the be. Yay. We have a new weekly champion. What was that, Tokus? Yay. I said yay. Mr. Bearded Bread. <laughs> No weekly champion with 23,640. Well done, sir. You beat everybody by a decent amount. Congrats. But it's time to crown a new weekly champion. The seed will be in the description below. Click on it, play along with us, share your score. We'd like to see how you did. Is everybody ready for the first round? Yes. I'm ready. Ready. Ready, set, go. Okay. So normally for these, uh, I've been awake all night. However, this week, I decided to shake things up a little, and I woke up, uh, seven minutes ago? Yeah. So seven minutes ago, I was, uh, asleep. So, go me. Dunkin' Donuts. What am I even doing? Um, so I'm very tired, but in a different way. Uh, so this is America. There was choice books, reading to enrich your life. Apparently. Why, why am I even... No, 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 no we, we go, there, there's... Where are roads? There are road signs. What, what am I even... What's, what's, what's life? Okay, look, there's... What, what, no, talk us, no. It's the Los Angeles, Flagstaff, and Phoenix. Uh, so... Los Angeles is this way, and Phoenix is this way. Uh, like here? What? So we're at, uh, the 40. Okay, so we're going east-west along the 40. And there's like a 93 somewhere. Um, there. Okay. And then there's probably like a gas station somewhere. Maybe? I think we're here. Are we here? What I'm saying? So we're coming up this way. Uh, well, this ain't no giant highway thing here, I don't think. So, Lake Ranch Road. Uh, do I know where that one is? Mine's saying. Okay, here we go. So, Lake Ranch Road is here. So, we're going along this way to Lake Ranch Road. And we're like there. And that's like a campground or something. I spent way too much time playing around in the gas station looking for info. But if you hopped out onto the street, there was a sign for Flagstaff and Phoenix and Las Vegas. There is a sign for uh, Interstate 40 and Highway 93. So I found that, got 4960. How'd you do, Al? I don't know yet. It's loading. I'm going to have to try this again. I have right. the spot where I guessed marked down, so. Okay, pasta. How'd you do? Um, I'm right on spot, 5,000 points. Holy cow! Well done. I uh, plucked it down in the petrol station itself. I found the Blake Road uh, what, by going a little bit back on the Interstate 40 from uh, Kingman, apparently, the town is called. Well done. How'd you do, Tarkus? I got 4,972 points. Holy nice. cow, I guess we all found it. I didn't know they had Dunkin' Donuts in the Southwest. I, was... I don't go for such things. The, they're very famous for their coffee. But don't... Infamous aren't... or famous? Famous, famous. As in people absolutely love their coffee. I assume oh, that Dunkin' okay. Jonas was one of those giant restaurants that is everywhere. No, they're not in Texas. Ah, who knew? Uh, no, I was just going to the interstate right away and uh, by that finding the sign. How about you, Al? Is yours up yet? Second, I'm almost there. Make a guess. There we go. 4918. Ah, there we go. Okay. So that was a relatively easy one. We all got it. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I'm kind of surprised that's way over there. Oh, I see why it's over there. Yeah, I actually guessed at the intersection of 93 and 40. I so. did likewise. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I, w I was just going for the Blake Ranch Road. Okay. All right. Round two, you guys ready? Ready. Yes. Indeed. Three, two, one, go. 
How come Pastor gets to beat us on American ones now? This is the one thing we had over him, was America. Now he beats us. It's not fair. Actually, I think I prefer uh, recording this while we're really tired uh, to being awake. Because, like, I'm, I'm alert, but my voice is uh, not in a happy place. I'm going to go run and, like, grab a drink or something. I've, I've had drinks. It's just, ah. Uh, it's always something with me. Recording these things too early. I don't even know. Um, Chester Mint Shop. Philip 66. Bet Fixer will know where that store is or something. Because apparently. Dunkin' Donuts, not in Texas. Why would you put a Dunkin' Donuts and not put it in Texas? York. Uh. Isn't it like York? Like that place? Where, like, uh, Cornwallis was defeated? Uh, I mean, there's probably a lot of Yorks, but this does look sort of Eastern-y. Uh, 3 to 1. North House, 3 to 1. Look what one here. York. Uh, like here, maybe, or something? I should know my American history better. Uh, meh. Three to one, three to two. Just things up here, maybe. Hmm. Sure, we'll go there. Uh. Not. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember that like there were like boats, and Cornwallis was like trying to attack the boats. Winsboro, Lancaster. Do I know these things? Dover, Chester. Nope. I I have got no idea. Um. Hopefully this, I have the, the right side of the country, at least. Uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so my first guess, I couldn't find anything. My first guess, it looked like a, a typical shithole you'd see in Texas, Arkansas, or Missouri, or whatever. And then I came across a sign. There, there was a Highway 321, which I don't know where that is. But right next to it was a Highway 9, and there was a, an image on it that looked exactly like South Carolina. And, oh, it is South Carolina. I'm looking at someone who guessed South Dakota. That was me. Oh, I got confused for a second there. All right, so then I, I did guess well. I got 47.87 then. What'd you do, Al? Uh, 26.82. I kind of guessed in the Northeast because I saw a few signs that said, like, Winchester and York. And I was like, eh, I'll just go for places where those kind of names are common and went up there. So I was like, yeah. Ended up ah. with 26.82. Uh, pasta. Uh, 1193, I thought it would be somewhat northernish and not in the south, so uh, I went for South Dakota. And Tarkas. That does not, uh, it is not quite as desolate in South Dakota. I mean, as South Dakota, yeah. Um, it's I a went, little prettier in South Dakota. I just saw the sign for York, and I knew that York was where uh, General Cornwallis was defeated by the proud American freedom patriot dudes. So uh, I went with the uh, Eastern Seaboard and got 29 and 6. All right, round three. You guys ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. Three, two, one, go. We're continuing this thing, we might beat Knightley. Or Mr. Bearded Bread, who won this week, apparently. Uh, well, it's in French, and it's probably Quebec in, in it. Uh, um, or this could be Europe. That does look like French, though. And... I don't think there's Geogether in France? I can't remember the last time I saw... Oh, there was a one uh, Inception Geogether thing. What, what are we doing? What, what's going on? What, 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 what is this? Is this... Well, I'm in intrigued. This is a bad thing to... Be, this is a bad place to be as far as scoring is concerned. But the the Big Chute Marine Railway. A unique design. And the Marine Railway... Um. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'll have to look this up later, maybe. I mean, I'm not going to, but I, I want to. Uh, it's a thought that counts, right, guys? Okay, so that was an experience I will never forget uh, until I do. Oh, we're, we're, on, we're on a Google. Why? Oh, we're going into the park. I've always wanted to see the park. <laughs> Hello, park. Hello, why? Why are we doing this? 
I want out. Uh, I don't know what that says. Um, but there's French, and it looks like Canada. So I'm best guessing uh, Quebec, I suppose. By the, uh, the the river, because this is a marine railway. It makes sense to have a marine railway along a river, I suppose. Um, we... That was an interesting spot. Yeah, I was on the wrong side of the lakes. <laughs> Alright, well, um, if you got on that rig, I don't know exactly what that was. I guess it's some kind of rail thing. Um, there was a sign for Canada, and there was a good deal of French, so it was, uh, I would think it, it would be more likely Southeast. So I did guess near Montreal and got 3481. How'd you do, Al? I guessed up in Manitoba because I didn't see, I saw some French, but. Um, I was kind of torn between Ontario and Manitoba, and I didn't even think about going into like the southeast part of it because because there's more lakes in the northwest. But anyway, I got twenty one sixteen. Pasta. Uh, I got seventeen forty one. Went with Manitoba as well because of the speed signs, which said uh, sixty. Oh. Uh, Douglas. I also saw French, and it looked like Canada, and it was along, you know, the Marine Railway thing, which I don't know what that is, but it's something. So I got also guessed near Montreal and got 37.97. Excellent. I think we got one more round? Yes. Uh, um, yeah, should be. Yeah. Alright, three, two, one, go! Blech. Why can't we do Town of Salem first? M more to the point, why can't I wake up earlier? Than I do. Um, just going along. Just you know, we used to do town film first, but now we don't. Just going along. Just going along. Waking up the song. Let's go, cause I'm uh, going along. Going along. What, what, wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, a horse. Okay, I thought that was a baboon, and I was. Oh, okay, good. Good talk. Uh. Just going along, just going along. Louis Castillo. Um. It looks like some PRI. I think that's Mexico? I know that I've heard that name. I think that's the Mexican party that, like, was in power for, like, 30 years and then was only recently ousted. Uh. Yeah in a recent election, because people, um, remember people were talking about how it was probably like a, a dictatorship or something because, like, the same party had been in power forever, but then it lost the election, and then people thought it was, decided it was not. Um, Guadalupe Victoria. Yep. A little town of badness. Um, I'll guess in the south, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go there. Um, PRI. Of course, now if it's the PRI turns out to be, it turns out to be not Mexico, then I'll look very silly, but oh well. Or maybe someone in Mexico just has a really deep interest in the uh, PRI Brazilian party. Uh, yeah, about that. Okay. All right, well. I did come across that, that sign. I don't know. It was some kind of wildlife sign, I think. It had a bird on it. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was Spanish or Portuguese. In fact, I wasn't even sure if it was either. But I went with Brazil anyways and got 215 points. Really? How'd you do well, it? Pretty much the same situation, but 206 points. Why are the points so low? It's not that far. Actually, the map that... Um... Well, GeoGuessr and um, Google use is northern centric. If you'll notice, a lot of the countries that are below, like the southern hem hemisphere, actually it's European centric, but the sizes are off comparatively. So Brazil is actually much, much larger than it shows on this map compared yep. to the other areas. It is. Canada yeah. as well. Yep. 
I don't think Canada's larger. In fact, well, I would say Canada's smaller. Think uh, about the size of Texas compared to France in reality. Texas is much larger than France, but on the map, it's about the same size. Yes, you're right. The Eurocentric map. And Arkansas, <laughs> yep. or I'm sorry, Alaska looks a little bigger here than what it should be as well. But anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. how'd you do? Um, I saw that sign as well, but um, in Portuguese, you don't have the um, backwards exclamation mark, so it had to be Spanish. So I went with southern Mexico, somewhere near Oaxaca, or the county it's called, don't know, Oaxaca. 28, uh, I have no idea how it's pronounced. I got 2880 points. I do, I have a painted turtle from Oaxaca. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Falcus. I saw a sign for the PRI, which is famous for being the ruling party of Mexico that was in power for like 30 years and was fairly recently ousted at an election. So I knew from that that it was Mexico, and I got 3,292. Nice. This is going to be a close one. I'll be uh, honest. <laughs> oh, is there one more round? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, ready? Go. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Away we go, my precious, my love. Gone, gone, gone. It's Mew War 3. Now, see, this looks like a South Dakota or something. Um, past a thought that <laughs> that South Carolina was South Dakota. Well, they're both South. Well, actually, South Dakota is, is a northern state, but yeah. And uh, South Carolina, uh, I'm not sure if that's... I think that's Eastern? Yeah, we'll call them Easterlings. And obviously, the uh, things we call, uh, you know, everything is oriented relative to the glorious state of Indiana. Uh, hello? Dr. Jamie? Okay. Uh, I was watching a past a stream yesterday, and Dr. Jamie was there, and then a cake was summoned, but uh, uh, Neil left before I could pounce upon him and uh, speak to him of my love, and it was sad. But Weirta was there, so I got to pounce on Weirta and speak of my love. I love you, Weirta. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be very strange to people who, like, don't know these people. Just going along. Um, well, I mean, this is definitely uh, the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under Neil, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Uh, question is, what state is it? So, oh, region de cum. This looks like, okay. Um, well, for I guess this is Mexico then, because this is Spanish. Uh, do I see these places? Chihuahua and Guerrero and stuff. Uh, no. I'll just assume that. Okay. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, that was a tough one. I had no earthly idea on that one. It wouldn't let me jump to the city that was soft yeah. in the distance. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was hoping for as well. So, I don't know. I went down the road uh, one way, and I, I went for quite a ways and came across absolutely nothing. So I went back to the beginning and turned around. I eventually came across this little building, this this shack in the middle of nowhere, and it had what looked to be possibly Spanish or Portuguese. So I switched my guests from uh, Africa over to Brazil and got 438. How would you do, Al? I originally was in Africa, then I was like Southern California, and I was, I was like, this doesn't look like Southern California either, but maybe it's like some weird spot in the Rockies I didn't know. I uh, just kind of guessed all around. Ended up with 21 points. It was just terrible. Didn't find any hints whatsoever. Pasta? Um, so I saw the sea. It had to be somewhere on the seaboard. Um, so I looked for something hilly with a seaboard, so I plucked mine down in Peru and got 1,590 points. Nice, talk us. Well, um, it had the American road signs, so I Yeah, assumed, I was thrown off a little bit by that, So too. I assumed that it would be in America, because, you know, American road signs. And I thought it looked like, I don't know, South Dakota or somewhere. But then at the last moment I found a, a, a sign 
in uh, Spanish, and so I assumed that, you know, Mexico with American road signs and Spanish, so I guessed Mexico, and uh, 44 points, yeah. A lot of the road signs are international by now. And yeah. the sun was a tad to the north, which turned me off of U.S. Ah, uh, I don't know, I couldn't make anything off the sun because it was quite high in the sky. Yeah. Well, wow, we started really well on that one and then failed at the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I didn't see. even hit my goal minimum on this one. I got 13,881. How'd you do, Al? 9,943. I think I'm last place. Pasta. 12,404. And talk us. A one, two, the five, two, the O, oh, two, the double eleven. Nice. Looks like Talk is our winner. Woo! Oh, nice. oh bow before Congrats. me. Bow before me, Fixer. No. Nope. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Aw, so. I try. All right, well, if you guys played along with us, put your score in the comments below or just go over to the GeoGuster subreddit. We'd like to see how you did, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.